Hi, this is Professor Scott Norman from the Automotive Shop at Pistol State University, and we're doing another AC lesson. Today, we're gonna to show you how to do an H-valve test. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna spray CO2, a super cold substance, on the power dome of the H-valve. So here's an H-valve, and here's the power dome. Normally, the H-valve is sitting in the bulkhead where the suction line and the liquid line are being connected to the evaporator through the H-valve. Normally, it's sitting sideways. Sometimes, it's sitting with the power dome straight up. So I'm gonna take CO2 that I could get at a welding shop, and I'm gonna spray substance on that. And so when I do that, I am taking that TXV and I'm making it close. I'm gonna shut off. And I should be able to see my low side pressure drop down. And I should also see my high side pressure drop down also. And so we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna show you how I have the H, I'm sorry, how I have the CO2 bottle hooked up. I'm gonna try this by myself. This is my first time doing it. So I'm, I'm, gonna, let, so I'm gonna let you guys sit here and watch the gauges and we're gonna see what happens. So if you take a look at the gauge readings, I dropped down to almost a vacuum, and then the low side also dropped, so the high side also dropped down. So right now we can see that that TXV closed down. It actually, it actually went into a restriction. So this is the same gauge readings that you would see doing the H-valve test if there was a restriction at the H-valve. The, uh, the low side drops down into a vacuum, and the high side starts dropping down. Now, a lot of students will ask me, well, well, why does the high side go up way high when there's a restriction? Well, when you look at a TXV system, the point between the compressor and the restriction, which is the TXV, the low side has a lot less volume of space than the high side. You think about the, the actual low side, you have the evaporator, and the evaporator is pretty small. But if you look at the high side of the system, the condenser and the receiver dryer, that's where most of the volume is. So what happens is that as that TXV closes down and you have a restriction, the compressor pulls all the refrigerant out of the low side, it goes into a vacuum, we can see that, and there's just not enough volume, I'm sorry, there's so much volume on the high side that it doesn't start compressing that refrigerant on the high side. And so, you know, the refrigerant starts dropping down because the compressor just runs out of refrigerant. Now let's show you a little bit as far as what I have set up over here for the um, for my setup here. So again, so so here's my canister of CO2. You know, you can get that at any weld shop. I have a, a welding hose on it. I have about six foot of it, and then I have like a, a steel rod where the end of it goes through, kind of as a wand. So I can come over here and, and, I, and I can put that on the top of the H file on the bottom dome. I can open and close my valve and i want it upside down so i want liquid co2 getting on that getting on that power dome so it so it gets it really really cold then i can watch my gauge readings i, I need to be able to see my gauge readings because i really know when to turn off my co2 i don't want to use this whole entire canister of co2 on just one vehicle maybe i can do five or six vehicles on testing co2 it's cheap you know about 10 bucks to fill this up so, you know, back in the day, back when I was a technician, you know, you probably hear that from other people. Uh, I remember doing it with R12 back, you know, back in the 80s before we started to phase out R12. We had R12 all over the place. So we would put R12 on the seal, uh, on the power dome. Well, we don't want to do that anymore. We're not putting any refrigerant on it. We're putting something that is not going to combust in the engine compartment, something that's safe. And so CO2 is the safest and cheapest thing to do. Okay, remember on the on the H valve, you guys are aiming your your dome, your your wand right there at that power dome in order to get it all iced up in order to get response. So I know that this TXV is not stuck open. I know it's not stuck closed. That it can physically open and close properly. Now I don't know if it's calibrated correctly, but I know it's physically movable and it's doing its job. This is Scott Norman. And if you're looking for more uh, videos on air conditioning or fuel related items, you could uh, visit my Professor Pentane YouTube channel. And I'm also on Facebook, just look for Professor Pentane. You guys have a good day and thank you for watching.